I'd like to um, pick up in a similar vein where we're practicing on Wednesday with the theme of putting down or letting go and bring another nuance, another consideration into it. <clears throat> and and this idea of letting go of what is not beneficial, what is not wholesome, what is not needed in this moment in order to make space for what is wholesome, to make space for peace, to make space for during our meditation, quiet, silence, as a way of also self-care, as an expression of love for ourselves, taking care of ourselves, and taking care of others when we're more available, when there is more care, we care for ourselves with more stillness and love. And one quote that I like to bring in to inspire, to inspire, to be serve as an inspiration for our practice together is a quote by uh, Thomas Merton. Um, who was a um, um, mystic writer, priest, um, and yeah, beautiful being. So um, here is the quote. The rush and pressure of modern life, and mind you, he wrote this, I, he, I think he passed away, I, in the 40s, am I right? Let me quickly check. He passed away. Well, anyway, he passed away long before the age of the internet. He, he passed away in 1968. Um, so he definitely wrote this even before the age of the internet. So whatever he's saying about the busyness of modern life, you can put it on steroids and, and imagine just how much more profound, of course, this applies to our situation. So uh, yes, he was a tapist monk, that is, he was a tapist monk, theologian, mystic poet, social activist, and scholar. So, so he says, the rush and pressure of modern life are a form, perhaps the most common form of its innate violence. To allow oneself to be carried away by a multitude of conflicting concerns, to surrender to too many demands, to commit oneself to too many projects, to want to help everyone in everything is to succumb to violence. The frenzy of our activism, the frenzy, uh, the frenzy of our activism neutralizes our work for peace. It destroys our own inner capacity for peace. It destroys the faith, the fruitfulness of our work, of our own work, because it kills the root of inner wisdom, which makes work fruitful. So I'll reread a part of this again. The rush and pressure of modern life are a form, perhaps the most common form of its innate violence, to allow oneself to be carried away by a multitude of conflicting concerns, to surrender to too many demands, to commit oneself to too many projects, to want to help everyone in everything is to succumb to violence. So powerful words, this busyness of our modern lives, to want to help everyone in everything, to be carried away by a multitude of conflicting concerns, Surrendering to too many demands, it kills the inner peace. It kills our inner peace, which really is the foundation for service to care for ourselves and for others. <clears throat> 